We're going to have a look at what are called alkene addition reactions. These occur when a small molecule like water or HX, X2, or H2 is added to an alkene. Okay, to determine the resulting molecule, molecule simply redraw the alkene, removing the double bond. All right, so when I said H2O or HX, what I was referring to is X would be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. This is a halogen. Basically, you form a substituted alkane. All right, so I'm going to draw some examples. I'm going to use uh, a butene molecule as my uh, alkene in each case. All right, so this is going to be one butene or butuanine, sorry. All right, into this we're going to add, for example, um, HBr. All right, so now. The only part that I want to touch of this molecule of the butene is I'm simply going to remove the double bond. All right? So I haven't altered any other part of the structure. I'm simply going to add the bromine and the hydrogen to the carbons that were involved in the double bond. I'm going to rename the molecule. This is now 2-bromobutane. Now, you may want to write this down, pause the video. Markovnikov addition. Basically, uh, hydrogen gets added to the carbon with more hydrogens. Pause this, write it down, have a look. So, carbon 1 has two hydrogens bonded to it. Carbon 2 only has one hydrogen bonded to it. All right. So here's carbon 2 with uh, one hydrogen bonded to it. All right, so where does the bromine go? Where does the hydrogen go? You can see that the bromine gets delivered to carbon two in this case. The hydrogen went to carbon one. That's always the case. All right, you have a look again in this example. So this is going to be but1-ene, and we're going to add water to it. So water splits into an H and an OH. So oftentimes we may write it as HOH. So again, what am I going to do? I'm going to redraw the but structure. All I'm going to do is remove the double bond. Now the alcohol, the OH group, goes to one carbon and the H goes to the other. The OH goes to carbon 2, the H goes to carbon 1. Now this would be called butan 2 all. We'll worry about the naming of alcohols later. All right. If you were asked to reproduce something like this at this point, um, we would just ask that you draw the structure. We won't worry about the naming. Uh, this will most likely be um, after the holiday break. We'll get there. All right. So we'll have a look at another example. Um, this time, Markovnikov's rule won't apply. Okay, because we're going to add. Br2. So now we don't have to worry about the hydrogen going somewhere. There is no hydrogen to add. But I'm going to handle this the exact same way. I'm going to redraw the alkene. All right. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that double bond. Okay. So there's the but structure. Now in this case, the two carbons that were involved in the double bond, each of them gets a bromine. Okay. So this now becomes 1,2-dibromobutane. Right. And our final example here is a process known as hydrogenation. Okay, So again, I'm going to take but1-ene and I'm going to react it with molecular hydrogen, so plus H2. So I'm going to re again, I'm going to redraw my but1-ene and I'm going to add a hydrogen to each of the two carbons that were involved in the double bond. Okay, so there's the molecule I started with, essentially. I'm going to put a hydrogen on each of the two carbons. All right, this is now just known as butane. Okay, you may want to rewrite the formula just as CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, so you don't have the hydrogen sticking off there. All right.